sit your name. Okay, you want help? Okay. You, want, you can. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to help you. That's all. <clears throat> what, what evidence have you seen that this defense will be better this year than it was last year? Really, I practice, we've been flying around more. You know, it's a different feel at practice. Um, guys are really holding each other accountable. Um, guys are actually taking ownership, really taking ownership of not only getting in their playbook, but making sure the rest of their group gets in the playbook. Um, not only, you know, their position, but also the unit as a whole. So, Are you flying around more because you have a better understanding of what to do? Um. I'll say, I'll say, yeah, like guys are actually trusting, trusting the process, trusting their eyes more, um, reading their keys, making sure that you're in the right spot because there'll be times that, you know, you might not be in the right spot, you might not know what you're doing. So you'll be out there playing, say you're playing slow, but once you know what you're doing and you just know how to do that, you go ahead and you can play fast, play physical. Just how different was the spring? You were one of the, I think you guys were down to like five linebackers at one point, you were one of those guys. How different is it? having a, a more complete group this uh, camp? Um, the difference really is you get more rest on the sideline. <laughs> but, um, you know, everybody was, you, know, you can't control what you can't control. You just get hurt all the time. So you just got to roll with the punches with that. But um, the difference is now you can actually see, OK, how are we actually look? How, how does How do different people mesh with uh, different say we got two linebackers so how does this linebacker mess with this linebacker how does this d-line front mess with another d-line front you know just rolling guys in and out getting those different combinations going how much uh, was that opportunity for you to, to really get a lot of reps and, and improve your game with this new defense it was huge man like i said i can't control i can't control but uh coach has really instilled confidence in me and he's showing me that you know i actually can do this so with him just taking that one-on-one -on -one time, talking to coach, getting in the film room. Um, I feel like I've gotten like a better hold of the defense and I became a better player from that. So uh, you've been through a, a lot of uh, linebacking coaches when you since you've been here, because even under Coach Pruitt, they changed that position numerous times. Now you have another one, obviously, with this new staff. How tough is that just to have your position coach change? Um, it's always a transition um, with a new linebacker coach or even really a new defensive coordinator mm -hmm. as well. But um, what I've always been told is, you know, that's what the great guys do. Mm -hmm. uh, in the NFL, guys are going to have, you know, different position coaches, different uh, defensive coordinators. So I feel like that's just something that you're going to have to roll with, have to do, and if you want to be one of those great players. What have you seen out of the, out of the two transfers, uh, Juwan and Mohan? Those guys know how to play ball. I'll say that. Those guys really know how to play ball, and they're a great addition to to the linebacker room, great addition to the defense as a whole. Um, they add a whole lot of depth, and they make sure that the rest of the guys are on their P's and Q's as well. How much did you try to help those guys learn things, and, and you act sort of as a coach with them on the field during practice? One more time. How much do you try to help your, your teammates, those linebackers, the new linebackers on the field, learning the system? I try to help a lot. I mean, I try to be that good that uh, player coach, you know, if the guys don't know what they're doing or if you're on the field, uh, I try to yell across the field like, hey, you got to get to the flag or hey, you got to get high, like, you know, different stuff like that. Um, young guys will come up to me, ask questions, and, you know, I'm always happy to help uh, try to uplift those guys as well. So that's all I, that's all I can do, but I, I try to do more as much as I can. What are your impressions of Coach Banks? What are my impressions of Coach Banks? Mm -hmm. um, he coaches hard and he expects a lot of, not only out of the defensive backs where he spends most of his time, but he expects a lot out of the linebackers as well. Um, he looks at us as the quarterback of the defense. We got to make sure that not only the D line gets lined up right, but also the defensive back has that communication between us, them, us in the D line, us in the corners, or you know, just stuff like that. Coach Heupel had complimented the defense about their tackling in the first scrimmage and said you guys were physical in scrimmage number two as well. How do you assess how the defense did in those two scrimmages? The defense is definitely, like I said before, it flew around. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell guys are really getting comfortable in knowing the defense, knowing what they have to do. Um, and we've just gotten better as a unit, you know, trusting 
trusting your eyes. Because if you're looking at the wrong thing, you're not going to see the ball going outside. You're not mm -hmm. going to see the ball going up the middle. Uh, you're not going to see a pass. But um, trust what you see, trust your eyes, and you'll be in the right spot at the right time, and you can make that play. What did you see from uh, Jeremy Banks? So Jeremy Banks, he, he's changed a lot. He's gotten, he's gotten a lot better. Um, with playing other under control, he really knows what he's doing. Uh, he's a great guy for us in the room as well. Got what I said. Great guy in the room as well. Um, I mean, he, he, he's really flying around like the rest of us. So, what have you seen from Aaron? Well, last question. Aaron Willis also a great guy to have in the room. A young guy. Um, he wants to he wants to do more, and coaches put a lot on his plate as well. Um, we ask a lot of him, and he shows that he's up for the challenge. So, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.